Uh, diabetes is a chronic condition which can affect fertility, as you have rightfully said, in men and females. Uh, diabetes D disease, either type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes, could have a detrimental effect on fertility, especially male fertility, because it impact the sperm quality, the sperm motility, uh, the DNA integrity, uh, and, and other ingredients. Uh, in females, uh, similar issues can arise uh, with regards to having diabetes and it not being very well controlled. Um, uh, so it's incredibly important to have well-controlled diabetes in both men and women. So uh, diabetes, there are many types, type 1 or type 2 diabetes, but all types, if they're not well, very well-controlled, uh, can stop women from becoming pregnant. Uh, many women with diabetes are able to conceive, particularly if the diabetes is well controlled uh, and a healthy body weight is maintained throughout the pregnancy. Uh, but on the other side of the spectrum, if the diabetes is not very well controlled, then it can become difficult to first conceive and there is a high risk of miscarriage during the first trimester if diabetes remain uncontrolled. So we do suggest to be under a specialist team uh, who can support at the stage of preconception, at the time of conception, and during through all the trimesters, so the diabetes could be well managed. And if it's well controlled, like I already said, uh, and a healthy body weight is maintained, uh, it's, it's possible to achieve successful conception um, uh, with help of the specialist team. Uh, diabetic men uh, uh, demonstrate, it has been demonstrated in research studies that diabetes leads to uh, re reduced sperm um, uh, quality and diabetes um, uh, has an ability for the uh, cause infertility that way. Uh, like we've said that if diabetes remains uncontrolled in men, then it can lead to infertility, uh, but it's possible to be under the specialist team and get the diabetes well controlled and improve the chances of uh, conception in men and women both. Uh, the risk for infants who are born to diabetic mothers uh, is predominantly that the babies are larger than, uh, than the, the babies for non-diabetic mothers, uh, especially when the diabetes remain not well controlled. Um, a normal uh, delivery, uh, it becomes harder because of the increase in size. And there's also an increased risk of nerve injuries uh, and also trauma during birth. Uh, and in a lot of circumstances, if the body weight is on the high side, uh, a surgery might be required, uh, which we call a C-section instead of natural birth. Uh, the ladies with diabetes uh, uh, in, in pregnancy um, are normally advised in our clinic to maintain their blood sugars at a, at a certain level. Uh, this could be achieved with the help of the specialist team um, uh, without having any low blood sugars. And in our clinics, they are advised to maintain their lowest blood sugar, which is the fasting blood sugar at 5.3 millimoles per liter. Uh, and after one hour, to be less than 7.8 millimoles, or after two hours to be 6.4 millimoles per liter throughout the pregnancy. As we've discussed this, it's important for diabetes to be well controlled during pregnancy, uh, and it could lead to less complications, uh, and there is no risk of uh, requiring surgery. Uh, the end of the pregnancy and natural birth could become possible, but with help of the specialist team.